All right, I hope everybody is ready. This is by far the biggest treasure chest we've ever hidden, and they just continue to grow. And this one is based off of Escalante and Dominguez in 1776, which means a lot of the stuff in this chest is actually from 1776, including Spanish gold, silver, daggers, all kinds of fun stuff. Now, many people believe that Escalante and Dominguez crossed somewhere on this stretch of river as they entered the Uinta Basin. They were tasked with finding a new route to California from New Mexico up through Colorado and straight through. And although they didn't make it on their journey, it left some really good history in this area. Now you can't enter the Uinta Basin from the east or the west without passing plaques. There's one in Jensen um, in the city park there. And then there's one up on Strawberry at one of the rest stops there. Stop by, check them out if you're on your way out here. But we have a journal entry from Escalante and Dominguez that I don't believe anybody else has. Let's see if we can get through it. We journeyed past a great wall of stone, one a giant El Rey would have used as a throne. Then Sylvester, pointing to an arrow, saying, this way, we'll safely go. A great meeting we beheld as we watched in awe, then fought through the solos until we climbed high and stayed out of the shallows. The mighty Arroyo was to be our port of call until our companion stumbled and took a great fall. We found a cavity and stuffed him in, his trunk, his sword, his belongings and all. Good luck on this one. We will post another clue in about two weeks. And I really hope the mosquitoes weren't this bad for Escalante and Dominguez as they came through here. Just a quick reminder, this is the dinosaur monument. It's not on the monument. It's not on a state park. It's not on private property. It'll be on public land. Be mindful, no digging, and good luck.